Hello everybody, my name is Pizza Editor Brandon, and I'm about to take you all on a journey that I am very excited to do. I've never really done a setup video before, and that's kind of the reason that I never really found that my setup was very worthy of an actual proper video. For those that have been following me for a while and asking what I work off of, this is currently my desk setup that I've done YouTube on for three plus years. I think as you can see, I got two monitors here. We got the computer sitting down here, and we got a keyboard and a mouse. That is a Razer mouse and a Mac aluminum keyboard. That's actually by preference, by the way. I love Mac keyboards. Chiclet keys are just so nice. And we got a mic set up here with a pop filter with a wristband around it to make sure the volume doesn't change drastically. This is my setup. It's not all that great. In fact, it's on a desk, as you can see right here. This thing is dirty as hell. Like, look at this. Can you guys see the quality? I hope you can. The camera's not like best at autofocusing, but this desk is incredibly dirty, even though I've already cleaned it like multiple times. I even cleaned it today. I've had this thing for 10 plus years, even before I even had a computer in this room. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I ordered a bunch of junk off of Amazon and a couple other companies and I'm gonna be completely remodeling my room getting new desks new lighting new everything because this right here for those that don't know this is my entire room I got my old iMac that I actually started YouTube off of in the corner that I never use anymore I got my bed over here amplifier guitars underneath there uh, dresser with a bunch of other junk on there and that's pretty much the majority of my room you guys can see it's pretty big but it needs a remodel for sure especially the setup so I wanted to make this video to show you guys kind of a before during and after part like a little transformation, I guess, kind of turning this room from a casual bedroom into more of a productive office. The next thing that we have to do now is wait a little bit later in the day for Amazon to arrive and send us some packages, as well as my desk should be getting here today. It'll be a couple days before I'm actually able to get any of that set up, so this is gonna be a three-day process. Let's go ahead and wait for the packages and I'll get you guys back when they're here. So it's a little bit later in the day and our packages from Amazon have arrived. Look at this one right here. That one actually literally says heavy on it. I don't think I've ever Ever gotten a package that actually has a stamp labeled heavy. That thing's small too. What the heck? Alright, so I wasn't able to catch it on film, unfortunately, but we just had a giant freight truck come by our house. This is the desk here. You guys can see it's kind of sitting in between some wood to keep it pretty uh, structured, make sure it doesn't break, because you can see right there glass. This thing is made actually, well, not out of glass, but it's got a glass top on it. So it's 375 pounds. It's actually really freaking huge. So we're not going to be able to do it today. I guess I'm going to come back to you guys within a couple days once my dad's here and we can help set some stuff up. Look at all that cool stuff. Took all the stuff out of the boxes so we can kind of get a bit more of an idea of what needs to be assembled first. As you can see, we've got three lamps here. Uh, we got the one, two, and three, and there's three lampshades right there. They're just all stacked right now. Ceiling fan in the back, Philips Hue lights up there, uh, shock mount for the microphone, USB cords, extenders as well, audio mixer for the XLR setup. That's a keyboard. That's a keyboard. I remember that. Road mic stand for the uh, microphone, and then we have a USB hub. This is going to be vital for some stuff that I use on the desk, and then we've got the pop filter for that. Sennheiser uh, headphones, really excited to unbox these, and a Blue Yeti if for whatever reason the Pro doesn't wind up working, and then over here is you can see we've got the Bose speakers rather. And then this is the standing mat. This is gonna help a ton for actually standing for long periods of time. So really the next thing on the list to do is uh, before we get to this, we have to take apart the desk. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're making a little bit of progress here. Me and my dad are working on this. We got some of the items for the desk on the ground right there. Computers all the way in the back. And we have a bare bones desk here, which I cannot tell you how weird it is that this thing is just, it's just here. So we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this, vacuum the floor and uh, yeah, we're good from there. So this is the underbelly of the beast right here it's it's huge it's heavy it's it's painful it's really freaking big i don't think you guys are ready for what i'm about to show you so my dad and i have been working on this for about six hours now we actually had to drive to home depot twice to get a couple extra screws for the monitors to lock onto the vase amounts but let me go ahead and show you guys the finished desk we've yet to do a setup but let me go ahead and show you guys the desk you're gonna be blown away boom it's kind of hard to get a full view of it but that is the desk right Right there this thing is a freaking monster so it's a very very thin desk uh, we got this little thing underneath here that just slides out very easily a little keyboard uh, keyboard tray we got the vase mounts holding up two monitors let me go ahead and show you guys the real point of this desk you ready for this check this out you right yo dude it's a standing desk and a sitting desk it's 
fully operational on either one that you want. So if I want to stand here to work or whatever, this is pretty much right about there is as high as it goes. And of course you got the keyboard tray that you can just pull out right here so you can do your work or whatever. This is obviously a little bit ridiculously high, but you can adjust it to whatever height that you want. Obviously keyboard tray, fully functional like this, however way you want to move it. So we've yet to actually get the full setup done on here. So we're going to go ahead and get all the uh, electronics set up and we should be back with the final product. So it's been about four days since I recorded that last little clip in the vlog there. And I'm not going to lie. The reason is because I kind of got a little bit lazy. I decided to put the camera right now for the next four days and get the setup mostly done everything is as it should be uh we still have a little bit more work to do with like xr uh bleh, bleh, bleh. xlr cables and like the microphone setup and all basically making the audio quality a little bit better but for the most part the stuff behind us is actually done this is pretty much the finished setup now you guys can't see the most of it i'm so sorry i'm about to do what i'm about to do but i have to just be cheesy with this you ready for this okay three two one hey siri turn the lights on okay. there it is <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry, I had to say it. I like, you guys probably hate me for that introduction. It was so lame, I'm sorry. Welcome to the full setup. It's hard to get a good angle. This is literally right up against the wall, but this is the finished setup for the computer, the desk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is the actual room surrounding here. Nothing really has changed. We got a chair here, we got wires on the ground, we got a standing mat, we got the actual desk, we got the monitors on the arms or whatever. This thing is just goddamn beautiful. So let me go ahead and give you guys kind of a full tour of everything that's going on here. So I told you guys this before, but basically this is a standing desk, but it's also a sitting desk. So this is what it looks like pretty much when you have the desk actually moving with everything on it. Pretty quiet, not too loud. Goes down, obviously you can see it a little bit better right there. Goes pretty much to the floor if you really need to. That's kind of like my good sitting position right there, about 32 inches off the ground. I've used this setup for about the past three or four days actually on recordings, and I'm able to stand for pretty much four or five hours every single day before I have to sit. It's actually really freaking nice. So I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys with this entire setup, going from top all the way down to the bottom, and I only have a certain amount of battery left in this camera. So let's just go ahead and dive straight into this and show you guys what we're working with here. Monitor number one is the ASUS PB278Q. This is my non-gaming monitor what I use for web browsing, thumbnails, pretty much everything except for gaming. 1440p display, 60 hertz IPS panel, so it looks really great with the color, not all that fast for gaming. My gaming monitor is the Acer XB270HU. This thing is 1440p, 144 hertz G-Sync IPS. Honestly, one of the best gaming monitors you can buy on the market. Love it. It's really good for color too, even though it's not as good as this one over here, but for gaming, oh, it's rock solid. They're both suspended by a monitor arm in the back here, which is really nice because you can actually take these guys and adjust them, bring them a little bit more forward, turn them left and right as you so please, and it's really nice depending on whether or not you're standing or sitting down, so that's a really cool feature to have. This guy in the middle is going to be my new webcam setup. It is a Canon 70D DSLR camera hooked up with a lens that I'm going to have in the description there because I don't remember it offhand. Rode Podcaster mic up top there and a Gorilla X tripod down at the bottom, suspended it up looks pretty good with the setup kind of in between the monitors there i like it this is the guy that needs a little bit more upgrading but for the time being i have a blue yeti usb stereo microphone hooked up to a rode podcaster mic boom shock uh, of course with a shock mount and all that stuff right there pop filter pretty standard setup honestly obviously you can take this guy you can move him around as much as you want swivel him around there pretty much out of your way you move him up and down really nice for if you're standing you're sitting and pretty much however you want to record so you know if i ever really feel the need to go ahead and you know record with my microphone right next to my keyboard, me sitting down out of my chair. Just know I'm able to do that now. This is my laptop that I use along with the setup, the Asus. It's part of their Zenbook line. I'm not exactly sure of the model. I think it's the 301. I uh, can't actually remember what the model is, but that's the laptop. Pretty sleek, very thin, and actually goes very well with the glass top right there. Gorilla glass on top of there, tempered glass on top of here. It's like it's like they were made for each other, honestly. These are the Skull Candy Aviators. Now, I'm just going to tell you this right now. Normal Normally Skullcandy has very, very, very crappy headphones. These are actually amazing though. I'm not sure why they disconnected them, or discontinued them rather, but these have memory foam, the quality is amazing, and uh, yeah, not really sure why they got rid of them, but... Oh well. I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I really even like these earbuds because I'm not really used to this kind of design when it comes to earbuds, mainly because I kind of feel a little bit claustrophobic having them in my ears since I can almost kind of hear my heartbeat, but very good quality earbuds nonetheless. If you like those style, definitely roll with those. Now this little guy in the middle of my desk here is actually hooked up to the Bose Companion 5 speaker set. I've got one speaker all the way in the back there whenever Focus would like to go in. Man, my camera is just absolutely... What's it doing right now, dude? 
What is my camera doing? Wait, hold on. Is it going to focus that? Dude, my focus is... Okay, well, uh, I have nothing now. Everything got sold since apparently my room no longer exists. Everything is now explicit, belongs on an 18 plus... Nope, there. No, no, it's gone. It's better now. As I was saying, this guy right here belongs to a speaker set that I've got that is one of my favorite things I've ever owned. There's one speaker in the back there and one speaker in this corner. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys in comparison. Look at the size of my palm and look at the height of the speaker. This guy is freaking tiny as hell. And then you look underneath here, that's the subwoofer that goes along with it. These guys produce some of the highest quality audio I have ever seen in a speaker system, for a desktop at least. If there's one thing I can stress to pick up, it would be these guys. Bose outdid themselves a ton. What I was saying though, is this guy's really cool because he just sits on your desk and this is your audio control. All you have to do is turn him left and right to actually adjust the audio just like that. And if you wanna pause the music, Tap it once. You wanna play the music again? You tap it again. You don't even have to press a button. All you're doing is just tapping it. Look at, look at the button. Look at how fast that response is. So yeah, really cool design right there. Love Bose for that. And we're back to the blur. We are back to blur. Speaking of fantastic audio, these are the Sennheiser 363D headphones. Now, these guys are actually 7.1 surround. And if you don't know what I mean by that, take a look down at this little thing right here that actually goes out of the USB. This thing right here is the Dolby Digital Surround 3D Game 1 Engage. All you have to do is just flip this thing on or off right here. And this turns on 7.1 surround sound in your headphones. These things sound incredible. Literally, you put them on and anything that you're playing, even music it'll sound like the dude is like 20 feet in front of you and it's incredible i i, I can't even they just they're just they're just so comfortable okay no real talk fantastic headphones love these things next thing i've got is the razor deck stalker and the razor mamba now these are something that i'm actually in the middle of experimenting with i'm not really sure whether or not i want to stick with razor or go over toward logitech the reason why i bought this is because i'm a big fan of the very flat chiclet keys that and i really like the colors you can see here I'm kind of doing a little green and red fade out. This is supposed to be a little red Christmas thing, but I've actually got it set up right now where every time you click it, it'll actually turn blue. I don't know. I like Razer, but at the same time, they've got a lot of problems with their hardware, let's be honest. So would I recommend these? Not necessarily, but I, I like them personally. Might go with Logitech preferably if you're looking for performance, but uh, they work for me. So one of the reasons that I bought this desk was actually because I'm not really a big fan of putting like my keyboard and mouse actually actually on the main desk itself. That's why I love these keyboard trays. And this modular one is absolutely crazy. Check out everything you can do with it. You can push it in if you don't want to deal with it. So if you just want to put your stuff there, it's completely out of the way. You can pull it back out, obviously. You can turn this thing full left and right all the way down. Pretty much, you can literally move the thing all the way into the right direction there. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but if for whatever reason you wanted to, you have this little uh, knob right here that actually adjusts the tilt of it. Watch, let me go ahead and bring this thing all the way down here. You can see it's actually tilting the thing at a very low angle. And you can also pull it all the way out like this. And you can actually raise it really freaking high up. Take a look at this thing. It's actually higher than the desk right now. Very thin material. Absolutely love this. Really great for standing. And actually having this thing this high when you're at the desk standing up like this is probably very good for your wrist too. So huge plus for next desk for actually adding this thing in. Now we talked a lot about what's up there. Let's go ahead and bring you guys down here. Now this is my machine machine that I've been working on for a little while. It is indeed time for an upgrade on soon to a CPU so I can actually get a little bit faster of rendering going. Two graphics cards in here, 780 Ti's. I've got a 4770K in there. Fully custom built. I actually made this entire computer on stream in front of an audience. I think it took me about four hours or something like that. It was really fun to do. I'll have a full spec list of everything like that down in the description. I think it looks beautiful the desk, you know, having the glass window right there so you can see all the pretty colors out there. Wish I could change the color of it to green though I really wanted to, but that's the computer. That's the entire setup. Let me go ahead and show you guys the lights. So around my room, I have three lights. I have one right there by the closet. I've got another one over by the Packers poster over here, and I've got another one kind of in the middle of the room just by my freaking whatever it's called. Beautiful lights. They're looking bright, right? They look amazing, right? Wrong. They look freaking amazing. That's exactly what they are. Let me show you guys this. You guys are not ready for what I'm about to show you, okay? You ready for this? Hey Siri, turn blue.
Tell me how freaking awesome that is right there. So these things are the Philips Hue bulbs and they're hooked up by this little guy right underneath here. So this is the mastermind of it. This guy is hooked up to my router right now and Siri is hooked up to my computer. I don't know how technology works, but these guys just like watch it again. You ready for this? Hey Siri, turn red. And then the whole room is just the whole room is just red. It's literally the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. And then, of course, there's a couple applications if you look over here. So we go ahead and go here. I've got this one thing. I don't remember what this app's called, but you can turn them to literally anything that you want. Like, there's winter holidays, there's skies, there's nature, there's fire. Or you can turn this to candlelight. So we take a look over here. These things will literally flicker like candles, if you can tell. It's kind of a little bit hard to see over camera, but they'll actually flicker like candles. Clubs and lounges, color flows. Take a look at this guy right here. So these fast color shifts, they'll literally change color color along the entire room just over and over and over again. You can select your favorite football team and it will actually sound a freaking like we change Green Bay right now and we do a little like alert. Yeah, that's going to happen if Green Bay scores a freaking touchdown. It, it's it's mental. So So as you guys saw there, camera battery died. Thought I'd wrap this vlog up right now. So this is actually the next day of me recording this. And, uh, you know, I just thought I'd get the video out with a little bit of a thank you. Basically, just wanted to say thank you guys so much, honestly. You know, it means a lot to be able to be in a position where I could take the money that I'm earning from my job and pretty much put it right back into my work. Because this whole desk setup that I've got right here, you know, there's a couple little guilty pleasures like the lighting or whatever. But the whole setup is pretty much just so I can put my time back into making videos and do it better, healthier, feel better about it be a lot more productive so just thank you guys honestly for those that just came for the setup you know thank you for watching the video hopefully you enjoyed but for those that stuck around and actually helped me get to a position where i can make one of these things like a reality for me it's not the biggest purchase in the world i know that but it, it's still really nice to be able to you know spend the money to be able to put it back in the setup for you guys so i love you all very much I'm very grateful, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed the little vlog, the little mini update. Uh, if you guys actually want to leave any comments down below, for those that actually might know a bit more about tech than I do, about uh, areas that I might have gone wrong or things that I should upgrade to, then definitely be sure to let me know because this is a work in progress, obviously. Like, it, it's finished for the most part, but I'm still kind of working on peripherals and adding in a couple more things. So if you guys have any ideas and stuff I should add to the setup, be sure to let me know. But anyways, take care, guys. Catch you all next time, and thanks for watching the video. Ciao.